here this morning because oh. this is where I always come in. The bolt was unlocked, but the handle was locked still. So when I opened the door and I saw this sitting here and the hanger and this stuff, I knew something was not a good situation. So I set myself stuff down, turned the lights on, and I kept walking through. And you could find the different kinds of things. We don't know what timing Kind of strewn about here. Yep. This mirror right here was actually blocking this. Oh, wow. And so they shoved it over to the side, and then it looks like they probably went out this way, possibly. Huh. <laughs> Ransacked stuff all the way around in here. Wow. I see women's shoes. Are women's shoes missing, or were they? I think they just took them off. I don't know that they actually bought it. They took any of them kind of thing. And then these kinds of things, they just trashed far out of them. Huh. And then, as you come up this way, you can see that they had been into this kind of stuff and just left stuff kind of sprawled all over. Took basically anything and everything that was, almost anything that was in the jewelry counter and all of the stuff that was up there on the wall. Almost all of it was costume jewelry. Wow, is that kind of an indicator on uh, at least the gender who might have did this? You see women's shoes, jewelry, you know? I don't know. I, I, I'm it's not just... going to guess. I yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Just totally annoyed at that point. They went through jeans here. Oh. I don't know that they actually got jeans or whether they just knocked them over. They went through this stuff right here, which this is just miscellaneous, you know, like phone cases and curling irons and just simple little stuff like that. They went through and pulled slacks off over here, which those are women's slacks again, as you indicated, yeah. possibly. Okay. They went through all of the stuff that's over here left all of this stuff out on the floor. I mean, it seems like they just took their time here, you know, I mean. Yep, it really does. They um, they left indication that they had been here quite a while. And uh, I, I don't think we'll divulge that, but you can tell that they spent a little bit of time here. Yeah. Some of the things that were left here, they brought things in and left them here kind of deal. Um, nothing seems to be disturbed up here. Nothing in the food area seems to be disturbed. Huh. But then you've got this kind of situation here. And for anybody that recognizes this area over here, this is our checkout area. The rod that you see here on the floor was up here on the wall and it had purses on it. Not anything exorbitantly extravagant kind of purses, just a little bit more valuable to us than just a regular purse kind of thing. So this has all been gone through and destroyed basically, in a sense. Okay, so then they've been through this desk, they've been through this desk. The cash register was sitting up here on top of the milk crate mm -hmm. and the milk crate and the cash register are both here on the ground as well as they have rummaged through and ransacked if you want to step in. Yeah. You can tell that they pretty much just kind of went through it and blasted it everywhere. Goodness gracious. What kind of a setback is this going to be for you guys? Of course, this is, you know. Um, it's going to cost us time because we obviously have to go back through and clean it up and we have to do an inventory for the police department to let them know what we are aware of that we're missing. Um, it cost us also because the truck was supposed to be here at about 8.30 this morning. And so now we've had to delay the truck. And so they are graciously, very graciously accommodating us, Second Harvest is. And they are going to come this afternoon after we have a chance to clean up some stuff. And so that from that way, we can get it taken care of. Uh, we still will get our food delivery, but it's gonna cost us some time and effort on that. 
and some of the people that were able to volunteer this morning won't be here this afternoon to be able to help us get the, the trucks in, the stuff in all in here. Um, Money-wise, they did take the money out of the register and that kind of thing, and so, you know, it, it's not exorbitant, but it is enough that it's annoying. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have to take care of a few things here and there, and talk to some people and, and make sure that they're okay. And of course, one of the things is uh, this kind of highlighted a, a weak point, which is security. I mean, not it's it's a sad state when a food pantry has got to invest in a security system now. Oh, uh, we haven't seen the office yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> silly things like I had a package of almonds sitting on my desk and they opened them and ate them but left the package. Huh. <laughs> so, you know, that kind of thing. They took the Google mini speaker that was on my desk. Um, there were a couple of checks in my bag that I hadn't had a chance to deposit yet and those two checks were gone. So. Wow. Oops. And your, and then also we had we had just recently gotten cameras, security cameras to install. But we hadn't had a chance to install them, so they were sitting up here on the cabinet in the box still. They didn't. They did. The box of security cameras is gone. Oh no. So you're right. It's one of those things that you wouldn't have thought that we would in a small town like Cameron that protects its community and just steps up and, and always goes to bat for them. You wouldn't have expected that kind of thing to happen here, and especially not in a food pantry and thrift store kind of situation. But yeah, somebody did, and you know the the security measures that we had already put in place were not enough. So we'll be taking more steps, obviously. And uh, I guess how can the people help you out now? Um, the best way to help us out is going to be donations. Still, um, we are working on making a big, significant difference in our security system. So anything that people can help us with as far as the security system goes would be really helpful.